Hey guys, welcome back to another Vegas tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a very simple gun scope effect. And I gotta do this tutorial really quickly because I gotta go back to school soon. So, what we're gonna do is, first of all, just import a clip of your choice. I'm just gonna use this bear since it's a gun scope thing, so maybe you could uh, imagine that the person is trying to hunt this bear or something, but whatever. So, once we got our clip imported, let's insert a new video track. And uh, now what you're going to do is have to create the gun scope itself, and you don't do s this in Sony Vegas. You're going to do this in Microsoft Paint or Adobe Photoshop or whatever program you want. Uh, I used Photoshop, but you can use Microsoft Paint. It really doesn't matter. And what you're going to do is create an image that looks like this, something like this. You want to have a black background and a green circle and then a black uh, cross in the center of the circle. Or you can design it however you want. Just create the gun scope. You can have little numbers and stuff if you want. It's all up to you. Just create the gun scope. I just chose this design for uh, whatever reason. I don't really care. And uh, one piece of advice. As you can see, the this uh, image isn't covering the entire video clip. There's uh, pieces of the video that you can still see. And this is due to because uh, I didn't put enough black in. I should have made the image bigger. Right now, it's just you know not that much black and you need more black so just have lots of black and then have the circle centered and then it should all work out but in the case that this happens like right here you can still see the video you can fix this but it won't look too good uh, you can go to the pan and crop uh, tool the pan and crop tool on your image and go to maintain aspect ratio here and change it to no and then it will stretch like that but it probably won't look too good but in a pinch you can do that Okay, so once you have uh, your tracks aligned like this, it should go the image on top, then the video clip, and then the audio. So what we're going to do now is go to our video effects tab. Let's find chroma here and drag pure green screen onto our image. And it gets rid of the green and leaves the black. That's basically what a chroma key does. And this is how people uh, create the effect of them looking like they're standing in outer space or whatever. It's because they're using what is called a green screen. And I will be going on to this into another... T um, I will be discussing chroma keying and green screening in a future tutorial very soon. The reason why I've been uh, holding back on it is because I don't have a green screen. Uh, and therefore I don't have any green screen footage. So I'm getting someone to send me some green screen footage. And i got to thank them. But once they send it to me, the tutorial will come out. So anyways, enough about chroma keying. Uh, basically, you should just drag on the pure green screen and it should all work out and it should look something like this. And then you're basically done. Uh, you can also mess around with the low and high threshold, but sometimes it doesn't do much. Like, I just think that the default settings work. And you might want to blur it too, but in this case it doesn't look too good. You can do whatever you want though. It's all up to you. And then, uh, even if you want to get even more creative, you can go back to the pan and crop tool. But with this image, it probably won't work too well. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, you can put some keyframes in here and then move it around a bit. But like I said, it's probably not going to look too good. But it's all up to you, so you can do whatever you want, you know. But that's basically it. Uh, basically, you just got a nice gunshot or gun scope effect. Oh, I can't really talk right now. I'm just really confused. So I hope you didn't mess up on this tutorial because it's probably really hard to understand me right now. I won't always be like this. I just got to get my head together. But anyways, that's basically it. That's how you create a simple gun scope. You could do the same for binoculars or whatever you want. That's basically it. You just need to create the image and then apply a chroma key or filter on it. And then you're basically done. So you can add some fancy keyframes if you want. You can do whatever you want. But anyways, thanks for watching. Take care.